Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic 3D model of U-clamp in Autodesk Inventor Sheet Metal. In this tutorial we will learn how to make a basic sheet metal profile and this we have made with the help of punch tool. From here we have taken the punch tool and this is a complete sheet metal part. At last we will make a flat pattern of this part. So let's get started. Go to new. Take here a standard sheet metal bar in millimeter and go to create. Now from here take a 2D sketch and select the XY plane. Go to line command. Start from here. Make a line of dimension 30. Ok. Skip. Drag this line this side. Now go to line. Now make a rough sketch first, this, here and here, ok, U shape. Now go to dimension, this height here will be of dimension 25 mm and this has dimension 30 mm and this also a dimension of 30 mm. Now you can see, escape. You can see the profile is moving in any direction. So this is moving like this or this is moving like this. So to constrain all the profile, first go to horizontal constraint, select this point and select this point. Now they are aligned with each other. Now we have to align about this center point. So select this center point, select this point. Now these two lines are aligned. Now we have to align these two profiles. So go to vertical constraint, select this center point and here select this green point as the center point of this line. Now whole profile is aligned. Okay. Now skip. Now to make a U shape, go to the fillet command. Here the total distance 30 mm. So we will take a fillet radius of 15 mm. So like this line, this, similarly this line and this line. Ok and escape. Here the fillet radius is of 15 mm. Now finish sketch. So this will be the complete sketch. Now here we have not given any radius or anything. So the software will do it automatically. Now go to counter flange. Here we have taken the counter flange. Front view. Now you can see. The flange profile is outside this sketch. Okay. So the profile which we have made is the inner profile. You can change it from here by clicking flip side. The profile will come inside this sketch. But we want it outside, so click on flip side. Okay. Rotate. Now here we will take a distance of 25 mm and take a symmetric distance from midpoint. It will be total of 25 mm, 12.5 this side and 12.5 this side. Okay. And okay. So this will be the sheet metal part. Now we want to change the thickness. So go to sheet metal defaults. Here the by default thickness is 0.5 mm. So uncheck this. And here take a thickness of 1.5 mm. And apply. Okay. Exit. Now we want to make a punch profile over this. So on round profile, how can you make the punch profile? So we will go to unfold. It will ask you the stationary face. So select this as stationary face. And here click on add all bends. And OK. OK. <coughs> go to top view. Though, so this will be the flat view of u bend. Now select this center face, go to create sketch. Here go to a point command and make a point over here and escape. Now we will not give any dimension to this point. From here go to vertical constraint. Select this yellow point over here, it will be center of this complete profile. Select this point and select this point. 
so it will vertically aligned similarly take horizontal constraint from here select this yellow point and select this point now this is also horizontally constrained so this is a fully constrained sketch now now finish sketch okay and from here take the punch tool and here we will take a square emboss and open now as you can see here it is selecting two number of points this point and this point so press on shift and click here so it will deselect the point go to top view again now this profile is not proper so go to size here angle we will take the 30 degree the width we will take in mm as 5.5 and we will type mm okay length here we will take as 60 mm top round this will be the round radius here the radius here will be of 2.5 mm and the height height of emboss up to which the sheet will emboss will be 1 mm okay so this all will be the dimensions now finish so it will provide you the emboss profile emboss profile is a profile in which the sheet metal will be lifted here and a cavity profile will be made here okay now rotate it so the, now emboss profile is made now we want to go back to the folded part so from here go to refold select this as a stationary face and here click add all bends and ok ok so this will be back to the u bend with the emboss file or the punch file now we will make the corner rounds so from here go to corner round this total was 25 mm so here we will take 12.5 mm go to corner selection select this corner and this corner similarly this and this and apply ok exit <coughs> now select this face go to create sketch and here go to circle command drag on this so the center point will be visible click here make a circle of dia 10 mm similarly here this black point will be center point die of 10 mm ok now finish sketch and here go to cut command select this circle and select this circle here the cutting depth will be 1.5 mm or the sheet thickness and ok ok so this will be the profile now you can define the color from here I have taken the chrome polished so select here chrome polished now to make a flat pattern of this part from here click on create flat pattern so it will provide you the flat pattern of this u clamp now we want to go back so from here click to go back to flat folded part ok so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a sheet metal part in Autodesk Inventor and how to use the punch tool and how to create a flat pattern in Autodesk Inventor sheet metal. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.